This game includes mature content. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Based on a true story. Hello, Hamilton. Did you run away again? Who's there? Yes. You know how father can be. Oh, what should we choose? What should we choose? Yes. You know how father can be. Yes, child. We do know. Where am I? Do you not know? Please. No more talking. Please. I, I don't need you. Oh, Hamilton. Without me, you're nothing. We are nothing. <laughs> oh, who is the key? Aged key, flecks of rust and earth stain its bow and blade. Yeah. Oh, it's locked. Oh, I'll come back to that later. Nothing else. Ah. There she is. <gasps> no. Oh. Act one, the family. Welcome back. What was that? I don't feel very well. They call him the gray man. I, I, I don't like him. He doesn't scare me. He doesn't scare me one bit. Did you tell... Did I tell you that he should scare you? Sometimes what we fear the least will be our eventual doom. Besides, you have more in common with him than perhaps you even realize. You should head back home, Hamilton. Your poor mother. She must be worried sick about you. Oh, that's right. Mother. Mother. Uh, oh, man, where's Mother's house? Let's go this way. Oh, towards home. Gotta run towards home. Gotta run, gotta run, 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 run towards home. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Is anybody around? I'm checking to see if anybody's around. I don't think anybody's around. Woo! All right. Oops. I'm home. I'm home, ma. Ma. I'm home. Ah, she must be in the parlor. I always hate these pictures. Oh, that's fucking weird. Yeah. Oh, she's probably in the dining room. Ah, dear sweet mother. She loves you. She loves you not. Mother. <laughs> it's good to see you, mother. Hamilton, my dear child, how oh, I've missed you. Where have you been? How dare you frighten me like this? I'm sorry, Mother. I've been here in the house all day. I was just outside, not far from here. You can't lie to Mother. Do you think I'm a fool? You forget that I created you worthless creation that you are. You know, if I discover you're lying, I will have your father beat your skull into the floorboards. 
Now tell me again, where were you? I'm sorry, I went to the old shed in the valley. Mother, I would never lie to you. Oh, would you not? Do you know who, who lies? Worthless men lie. Are you a worthless man? You spineless little shit. Lying to your own mother. Your father will beat you till your tears run dry. And when your father is done with you, I won't come to help you this time. You can cry all you want. Your father will. Wait. Your father? <laughs> Hamilton. I am reminded. My dear child, I have a task for you. What, what task is that? Please, don't make me see father. My sweet child, you are a good boy. How you grown. I love you, Hamilton. You do know that I love you, don't you? I need you to bring your father his medication. But father hates me. But I don't want to see father. Silly boy, you know you love your father. How he dotes on you. He's upstairs in his room. Be a good lad now. Take him his medicine. You will do that, won't you? Fine. I will do it. I just, just can't. I can't do it. Dear sweet Hamilton. Medication. The scent surges through your nose. Your eyes water. Oh. Love you, mother. You're always there for me. All right, let's go see father. Jesus. Oh, God, I gotta see father. This is father's room. Who disturbs me? Father, it's a baby. Spit it out, boy. Do you have my medicine? Y yes. I, I, I don't. Bring it to me. <gasps> Father. <laughs> what is it, boy? F f f Father. I. Well, well, I. I. I, I Spit it out. Why must you stammer and stutter like a frightened girl? I'm s sorry. You, you, fr fright. I'm sorry? Why are you always saying sorry? Do you know who is really sorry? It is I that is sorry. Y you're, you're sorry? Oh, Father, I'm so gl glad to hear. <laughs> yes, boy. I'm sorry that I have let that bitch of a mother birth you into existence. Do you know she only ever gave birth to one truly good child? Then God looked down from heaven and he determined that I deserved less. He took my own son away from me. And then he cursed your mother's mind, turned her heart against herself. And then I beat her. You see, I tried to fix what he did to me, but it was futile. I told her I needed more, 
I must replenish what God stole from me. And she gave me Walter, the masochistic filth. I don't understand. The pain is good. Father, he is your son. Son, he is no more of my seed than you are. He is a curse from God, like you. At first, I tried to beat the evil out of him, but then I found that he just thrived on the pain I inflicted. But then, <coughs> the cruelest of jokes, God gave me you. You're the worst, a combination of all their evils. But, but I can't help. I, I am who I am. I should have never let her birth you. I stood there with the hanger and the knife. I was ready to carve you from her womb, but your mother screamed. She promised me that you'd be different, but she, uh, but you tricked her. You lied to her. Do you know why God gave you to me? P please, Father, no. Yes, beat me. Of course you don't know. God gave me you so that I could beat the evil from you. And with his help, I will surely be victorious. for me. You must always be honest with me, Hamilton. How are your heart races? Can you feel it in your chest? You must calm yourself. There are some pills in your pocket. Take the pills. Why do I need pills? I don't need any pills. You're a special boy, Hamilton. So special, in fact. There are those out there who would seek to take you and make you their own. Do you remember outside the shed in the woods? The Gray Man. There are others far worse than he. Now take your pills. Walter. Oh, fuck. Hey, what the fuck did he do in here? Oh, fuck. Hey. Oh. Hey, brother. How are you, brother? Hello, Walter. Hello, brother. What happened to your face? There's so much blood in here. <laughs> Did father do this to you? Why does mother let him let this happen to you? <sighs> Brother, you're bleeding. Do you like the pain? blood from his face. The blood. The brother. Oh 
I'm sorry they've done this to you. What did you do to cause this? Fine. I will leave you be. That boy in the backyard, can you hear him? He is calling your name. To the backyard. Boy. Well, hello. Are you Hamilton? Yes. How do you know my name? Do I know you? My friends told me that I would find you here. They told me that I would find a boy here with blood on his face. You do seem to meet that description. I suppose I should introduce myself. My name is Albert. What? Friends? are you talking about? How did they know I would be here? The angel, Michael, that's his name. He knows everything. This sounds crazy, but he can even see into the future. The future? Wow, he sounds wonderful. That does sound crazy. I don't believe in angels. You should. At least, this angel seems to believe in you. Can you really be that good? How do you even know he is an angel? Well, because he told me. Why would he lie about that? Can he really be that good? You're right. He must be wonderful then. I promise you, he really is wonderful. The messenger. That's what his name means. It's a beautiful name, isn't it? It really is beautiful. I like my name better. Hamilton. Hmm. I don't like that name at all. It sounds sort of like ham and eggs, don't you think? <laughs> Maybe you should change it. I don't know. I'd rather not. And it's not just Michael. There is a girl with him. Her name is Grace. She is, well, it's hard to describe. She is perfect. Can she see the future too? Perfect. No one can be perfect. No, she is far more powerful than that. She is the end of our story. The end of our story? I don't understand. How do I meet these friends of yours? You will find them at the shrine, deep in the woods. There will be a guardian outside the gate. You will need to tell him that the magic words, well, tell him the magic words, <laughs> then he will let you in. But if you get them wrong, he will kill you. So be sure to get them right. But how will I know the magic words? Kill me? I promise you, you will know them. But, but how do I find the shrine? I, d I don't know, that sounds risky. I'm your only friend, Hamilton. You must trust me. But, but how do I find the shrine? Go deep into the woods. When you find the guardian, he will take you into the shrine. My friends will be waiting for you. Oh, all right. Whoa, be clear. Nice. <clears throat> four, four, five, four, five, four, one, four, four. 
four, four, five, four, five. Right. Okay, so let's, uh, let's. Oh, man. Oh, no. Wait, wait, oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go, everybody. I got it. I got it. Christ is fruited. Okay, we could write this down here. So, four, 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 five, four. I don't even know if that's a one, but I'm going to put one, four, four. Okay. Scratch. What is that? I, don't, I forget what shape that is. Scratch. Okay. House. House. Oh, no. Go try and find the shrine. Oh, what? What? There you are. I thought I lost you for a moment. Where am I? Lost me? What? Shall we continue? Yes, c continue. N no, I, c I can't. Good. So tell me, Albert. Would you say that you're close to your mother? Close? That's an odd word for it. Albert, my name is Hamilton. Very well. Use whatever name that makes you feel comfortable. Is that fair? I suppose. Good. So would you say that you and your mother were close? Close. That's an odd word for it. Is it? How would you describe it? She was abused. A shell. She was a bitch. I had no feelings or love for her. abused. Michelle. Indeed. You've told me your father also beat her as well. How did that make you feel? Jealous? I don't know. Mixed feelings. It made me feel sad for her. Confused feelings are common. I understand. These are not pleasant topics to discuss. I don't mind. I like when it's unpleasant. I do not doubt you, but let's shift topics for a moment. Let's talk about your father. If we must, why him? I'd rather not speak of him. There is nothing to fear. He can't hurt you. You're safe here with me. So tell me. Use one word to describe your father. Sadist. Drunkard. Visionary. Dirty drunkard. How does that make you feel? My head. I, I don't feel. Are you alright? Albert! Albert! I think we're losing him. Act two. The friends. All right. Oh, where to? Where to now? Oh, yeah. The, the shrine. So. We go to the woods to find the angel. The angel guides us. Would you rather I stay at home for more beatings? <laughs> we may actually enjoy that, but are we sure that we can trust Albert? I feel a connection to him. I think we can. I'm not even sure I can trust you. Well then, let us see where this connection takes us. 
Yeah. Exactly what we're gonna do. We're just walking. Walking down the stream, walking down the stream. Walking down the stream, walking down the stream. Let's go this way. No. Walking. What? What's up, dude? Hello. Where are you? Um, hello. It's a beautiful creek, isn't it? What's your name? I don't, th I don't think, I don't think I should be talking to you. Why can't you talk to me? I don't mean to scare you. Please leave me be. You frighten me. Fucking dumb bitch. Fine, God. <laughs> the fuck? What a delightful boy. <laughs> a fine child, if ever there was one. Indeed, quite delightful. Leave him alone. You dare chide me? You know what you felt. Even the boy knew what you wanted. You know I can't help my feelings. Please stop talking. I know patience. All right, to the cemetery. Oh, what a knife. Hell yeah, a path. The statues, they watch us as if they know the way. Where are the statues? Where are they? Hello, little boy. Let's be friends. Leave me be, please. <sighs> he doesn't want to be my friend. It's fine. Dark things wait in the rain. I don't think you're prepared yet. Okay. Okay, it's, it's whatever you say, man, whatever you say. You know, I'm just trying to find the damn shine. Fucking taking forever. Do the shed. I don't need the shed. I need to, to move deeper into the valley. Into the valley, lad. Into the woods. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go now. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. I know we are. Yep. Fucking A, man. Ah, you mother. Hello, little boy. Leave me alone, please. Don't 
don't do it. A. Damn, where is it? So it's not this way. Oh, this way. Okay, here we go. There we go. Whoa. 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 Greetings, child. Who are you? What are you? I have many names. More numerous than the grains of sand upon the shores. Too many, though. I am the guardian. What do you guard? My name is Hamilton. Yes, I understand this. To proceed, you must know the words of power. If you are to fail, I will be forced to destroy you. I've come to find Michael. I can't fail. I am predestined. The angel, I understand this. Are you ready then to tell me the words of power? Oh man. I don't know the words of power. What are the words of power? Show me the words of power and find your way. For four, for five, for one, for four. Take your son, your only son, sacrifice him. NYBCBA! Do you know what this word means? It's not a word, it's numbers. Not yet, but I will. Will you know? I don't think I believe you. But the angels will decide. Oh. Let's, let's roll. Oh. You've made it! I just knew you would come. How did you know I would be here? That's impossible. You couldn't have known. Well, that's true. I couldn't have known. But Michael did. I told you that he knows everything. I'm so glad you made it. Have you spoken to Michael? No, not yet, but I will. He frightens me. Not sure that I should. Talk to him. He could talk more later. Jesus. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Child. I see that you've come to me. Are you the one called Michael? Are you the angel? Some have said it to be so. Why am I here? What do you want from me? I have seen your suffering. I have tasted your pain. And behind the eyes of compassion, I have now called you by name. My name is Hamilton. What do you want from me? Truly, it is the name disposed upon you by those who gave you life. But do you not know? 
Yours is a name that will be remembered for an age. A legacy of blood and tears that could drown an ocean. But Hamilton? This is not the name that will crush their hearts and minds. But perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. Please stop. Don't stop. What are you talking about? I will be remembered forever? Yes. Long after the jolting pains of death have left you lifeless. When your bones have turned to ash in my mouth, your name will be feared and worshipped, hated and spit upon. Hated and reviled? Tell me more! Feared and worshipped? What do you mean? Child, you push too hard against the stones. It is not yet time, but the one who can prove their worth to me, he shall know all. Angel, what must I do? Prove myself? How? I see the tears and scars of your addictions. All of the feelings lying buried deep within your breast. Your heart black with hate and bitterness. And yet, from the depths of your depression and the tears which you've shed, there grows a swelling plague. The throes of righteous anger, the shrieking voices tearing at your heart. Please, how do I stop these voices? How do you know these things? I have a message for your father. What kind of message? My father? Yes, child. We must speak to him. What kind of message? The message that must come from you. And only you can know the words. You don't know my father. You will kill me. Where do I find this message? This I cannot help you with. But I will find it. And when it is yours, you will know what to say. I will find the message. And I will deliver it. I don't think I could do this. And yet you shall. You forget I have already seen the end of your story. It will be done. I must go now. Before you go, speak to the one called Grace. She has a gift for you. It will protect you. I have seen it. <laughs> Hi, Grace. Hello, Grace. Girl, do you have something of mine? Michael said you had something for me. She holds out her hand. Three needles lay gently in her palm. Thank you. Are these magic? What did these needles do? You feel Grace moving deep into your mind. You begin to understand. So whenever I'm in trouble, I can use these? Grace nods. You're so perfect. I adore you. Thank you for these. Grace nods. You feel her slowly leave your mind. The sharpened tip pricks your finger. Magic needles. Oh, ooh. Grace seems unwilling to speak further. Okay, so let's talk to Have you spoken to Grace yet? Why do you care so much about what I do? I don't feel I could, uh, like, I don't feel like I have to tell you. I'm your friend. Is that so hard to imagine? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just not used to that idea. Yes, yes it is. 
I don't have friends. Don't apologize. <laughs> Not to me. We're connected, you and I. Connected? What do you mean? I don't even know you. We have a bond, you and I. Connected by blood and spirit. You know it too. I'd rather not talk about this anymore. What do you want to talk about then? I'd rather just be alone right now. Why do I feel like I know you? Because you do know me. You just haven't realized it yet. Let Michael show you the way. He will light your path and all will be revealed when you've proven yourself worthy. Oh. Okay. Can we trust these friends? I don't doubt the angel. You doubt the angel? Could you not see his power? I never said I doubted the angel. Doubt and trust are not one in the same. But your sanity is slipping. Can you feel it? Take your pills, Hamilton, before they come. What the hell is he talking about? I need my damn pills. Hamilton, I think we're being followed. <laughs> the needles! Use them now. Oh. Oh. <sighs> huh? What? He he don't. Wait a moment. Yes. I believe he's coming back to us, Albert. Hamilton! Yes? It's Albert. Ah, there you are. I thought we lost you for a moment. Tell me, where did you go just then? I, w I went b back. I've been here this whole time. Have you now? Well, that's good, isn't it? If you were somewhere else, well, that would be crazy, right? Yes. Whatever you say. Do you know that you talk in your sleep? Do you remember that? You were talking about someone when you were asleep. Tell me of this angel. What was his name again? Michael? Y yes, that's it. I don't remember his name. What did you think of this angel? He seemed powerful. He frightened me. I wanted to be just like him. Power. It's a potent drug, is it not? You're fully in control when you have power. Do you want to be powerful, Albert? I don't know. Sometimes. It's natural to have feelings like this. You're certainly not alone. But tell me, did you obey the angel because you feared him? Or because he told you that you had no choice? Oh. Oh. Hamilton, are you all right? What? What are these creatures? Why am I seeing these things? The wolf. Do you not know him? I think you do. Why would I... I, I know what that... Would I know what that was? Perhaps. I, I don't know. I can't think. Yes. 
think hard. It will come to you. Just strolling back home. You know what? We're being followed, aren't we? Yeah, we are. back towards the woods we want to go back home <gasps> hello there mother Hamilton, my sweet, sweet boy, why must you do this to me? Why must you torture me like this? I called for you again and again, but you refused to come. Mother, I met an angel. I was just in the backyard, Mother. Lies, Hamilton. Always the lies. I was with her in the backyard. You were nowhere to be found. Uh, but your father, I'm sure he could find a way to break your habits. P please, no. I will be a good boy. I promise. That's my boy. I knew you'd come around. You always do. Beautiful Hamilton. Mother, I met an angel. What did you say? Did you say an angel? Yes. Yes? She told me that there would be an angel. An angel who would seek to destroy us all. No, he is a good angel. This message is not for you. Yes, I can see he has already poisoned your mind. It is just as she said it would be. The whore. Get out of my head. Hamilton, if your father doesn't kill you, she will. You stupid boy. Please, I must, you must help me. Why do you defend father? Why? We are one flesh. Ununited by God. Death could not separate us if it tried. Wow. Perhaps you should talk to your brother. I'm sure he has a message. Or do we like to deliver? Oh, man. Okay, brother. Uh. Uh. Let's do it. Talk to brother. Maybe he'll talk to us. <laughs> What's up, bro? I see you haven't, haven't you've shit on the floor twice. Walter, dear brother. Oh, I have a question for you. Walter, dear brother. Uh, silence. I have a message for father. I need your help. I'm going to kill father. I have a message for father. Do you know what that means? Can you even understand what I'm saying? 
Walter nods slowly. Can you help me find the message? Can you help me deliver the message? Walter nods. Good. Where do I find the message? Walter laughs quietly. <laughs> Is this a joke to you? Did something I say amuse you? Walter laughs louder. <laughs> You're wasting my time. Perhaps I should shift my focus to you. Don't you see, little brother? I like the fucking pain. Why should I help you? So, you'll not help me then? I can't do this alone. Walter is silent. Please, you must help me. I can force you to help me. I so wish you would, little brother. I can't do this alone. Please, you must help me. Walter chuckles maniacally. <laughs> something to say L let me in I i'm going to k kill you you know i have no peace from your madness oh gosh mm, i uh Oh yeah. Here you go, brother. <laughs> ah yes, brother. Take this. You wish to strike. We become excited, but sadly not this time. So you will not help me then. Please, you must help me. Damn. I can force you to do it. Nope. said you're being followed She saw she was in the backyard, mother said. No. Oh, wait. Mm. 
four zero four or one four one two three four five four five four let's go to the shed Hello, mother. I'm sorry, Hamilton. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mother, please calm down. Shut up. Leave me be. I'm sorry. You need your father, Hamilton. Just like I need her. Even if we hate them. I want to help you, Hamilton, but I just can't. Why can't you help me? I don't need your help. Oh, Hamilton, you always were a foolish child. I had a message for him once, but she came to me. She heard me. Wait, me made me promise to not deliver the message. So I hid it. Hid it? Where'd you hide it? Tell me where it is. Or else what? What would you do, Hamilton? What could you even do? Where did you hide this message? The old shed, of course. He never goes there. But she won't let you do it. She will protect him. He is our flesh. She knows.
Well, <laughs> that gave us nothing. Our mother is holding back. We must question her further. Her mind is broken. She is useless to us. She doesn't even love me. She shares your blood. He spills it. Let us dig. Let us see. Oh, let us see. She is holding back from us. Mother. Mother. Oh, mother. Come here. Sweet mother. My beautiful child. <laughs> Mother, about the old shed. Enough. I know you don't love me. So bitter. I love you more than you could ever understand. A good mother will lay down her life for her child. A great mother. She'd be willing to take it. But would you be willing to take her husband? That's a strange definition of great. I had a message once. Did you know? I buried it in an old shed. Yes, you told me. I told you nothing. I can't tell you. Don't you understand? She will hurt me. I knew she would kill me if I tried. You must understand. And if she did it, I knew he would. There is a lock in the shed. I can stop him from hurting you. Ah, uh, yes. I had almost forgotten. I couldn't let you children find it. I'd have been devastated if I had somehow caused you pain. Give me the combination now. Do you know? Time. Oh. Yes, in time. Time will tell. It always does. Time will tell. <laughs> what time is it? It is... Uh, uh, okay, so it's... One... Four... Oh, maybe not. Here it goes. Four. Five. One. Four. Four, five, one, four. Four, five, one, four, four, five, one, four. Four, five, one, four. Four, five, one, four. What's it again? Four five four one. Four five one four. Four five four one. 
four five one four. Oh yeah, to the side. Let's go to the cellar. Oh, it stings down here. Ooh, a yeah, the message. Its jagged edges almost scream for flesh. Ooh. What is with all this? Why is it? Now, to deliver the message. Mother is a little weird. Mother. I won't forgive you, Hamilton. <laughs> Neither will she. <laughs> I got to talk to you, brother. Is he just the same? He's just the same. Oh, could I give him the message? Can I give you the message? No, don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. He's a useless sort. Useless! I grow weary, boy. I gotta really get these voices down, right? Father, I've come to kill you. I have a message for you. A message? From whom? From God. From me. You waste my time, boy. I grow wary, boy. I have a message for you. From whom? From God. You, <laughs> you think he speaks through you? I hear his voice every day. He and I are one. Blasphemy. Is this some sick joke to you? Oh, I'm in. Uh... uh. I hear his voice every day. I see. And what does this message say? I must deliver it in person. Then deliver it. No, do no, no. hmm. Father. Omniscient. A beautiful word, isn't it? Do you understand what it means, boy? I do understand. I do not. Tell me. It means all-knowing. Like God. To understand all things would be a beautiful thing, would it not? Yes, Father. It would be beautiful. Where is the enjoyment in that? To know why God took my son away from me. To know what possible pleasure he could have gained. Or why he cursed me with this putrid stain that is my family. What have I done to deserve this? He hates you. He loves you. He loves you. Ha! <laughs> Is that what this message is about? That God loves me? Well, let me tell you, boy. He has a unique way of showing it. Father, I have a message for you. Then speak it and be gone. It's hard to formulate into words what I feel. I've dreamed of this moment, standing here to tell you. I simply hate you. 
There is no other way to say it. I know that this life has been cruel to you and I. But who are we to question our fate? Pain. So much pain in our lives. I, I no longer have space in my heart for you. Your time left on this earth is waning. Not even enough space for hate. You see, we're done, you and I. Only God can forgive you. I love you, Father. God damn your soul. <laughs> the soul in its place bury your pain drip 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 drain the blood pour in your hatred in its place dig 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 the marrow from the bones Inject your poisonous fears. This is the path, Hamilton. We will walk it together, you and I. Wow. This is this is fun. Act four, the brother. metal doorknob, cold to the touch. Is this place? Grace, what are you doing here? You feel Grace smile. You wouldn't smile if you knew what I've done. I'm not a very good person. You feel Grace move deeper into your mind. Why am I this way? What if I told you I liked this? You feel Grace flinch. Why do you even try to help me? <laughs> yes, I am quite unpleasant. <laughs> when you feel Grace smile, so warm, so perfect, am I not a lost cause? But why? Why try to help me? <laughs> a single word pierces your brain. Fate. Can I change my fate? Must I embrace my fate? Fate. Grace holds out her hand, a gift. Fate. Revolver. Ooh, a gun. 
I got the gun now. Oh, I'm, a, I'm a crazy person with a gun. That's 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 the kind of guy you don't give a gun to. Let's Hamilton. What happens now? We must tell the angel. What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? The time for second guesses ourselves is over, Hamilton. <sighs> Only we are accountable for our actions. What is done is done. What am I to do? Where am I supposed to go? Now you need our help. Now you ask us questions. These orders came from this angel. You must talk to him. We cannot help you here. Let's go check out brother. He's dead, Walter. I saved you. Well, brother, did you hear? Walter is silent. Cold. Do you have nothing to say? You're welcome. Walter growls behind the mask. I will leave you then. You don't scare me anymore, brother. Then take off this mask. You don't scare me anymore, brother. Oh, Hamilton. Such violent instincts. Go see mother. <laughs> Nothing. Thought she would at least be around here somewhere. She's in the parlor. Mother. Yes, yes, indeed. Everything is fine. It's just upstairs. It's just, it's the medicine, yes. He sleeps. Oh, how his medication makes him so tired, yes. He sleeps. Wow, mama is a little nutter. I'll leave her be to her ways. to the shed. Now we go over here. Oh, yeah. Do we go deeper into the valley? I guess so. Hello there. Hello, I've seen you before. You've been you've been running through these woods, talking to yourself. I'm not talking to myself. There there are voices. Have you been following me? I understand. Sometimes I get lonely too. You are lonely, aren't you? 
Sometimes, yes. No, the voices keep me company. The voices? Oh, I see. If you like, I could be your friend. I know I can use one. I could use a friend right now. I don't know. I don't think the angel would approve. Good, me too. My name is William. But my mom calls me Billy. Your mother must really love you. Thanks, Billy. I will remember that. See you later, Billy. Hamilton, you've returned. The angel said you'd return. He said you'd deliver the message to your father. I killed the old bastard. The message was delivered. Yes, the angel told me. You should be happy. Yet, you seem off. Are you upset about what you've done? It didn't bother me in the least. I did what had to be done. It had to be done, Hamilton. He was a good man, but he deserved what he got. I wouldn't call him a good man. He deserved worse. He has suffered in his own way. But yes, he deserved it. Just know, you've done well, Hamilton. <laughs> oh, Michael. Sweet child, I see that you've returned unto me. Are you Michael? What happened to you? I am everything that I am. But the weight of my power grows, for I am the messenger. I have delivered your message to my father. I have murdered in cold blood. Now I am done with you. Innocent child, do you not see your own light? I am the mouth of God, but you are his hand. You've purged the world of a dark blot. We are pleased. What happens now? I don't think I can do that again. Now... You must embrace that which is your destiny. Yes, we have seen your judgment on the Father, but I have also seen you judge others. Others? Who else do I kill? There will be more to judge? Yes, there will be. Perhaps five souls. Perhaps one hundred souls. The sum is not of importance. You will embrace. You will judge. For the decision is not yours to make. You are that which was predestined to be the hand of God. Yes, this is my inescapable fate. No. The choice is mine to make. Yes, this is... Yes. You begin to understand. You see, we act for the light. We are the flames in the darkened world. We still the hemorrhage. We coagulate the blood. We accept. What must I do? We accept what? We accept ourselves. It is the key. When you can accept, then you will embrace our addiction. But how can I accept what I am? Nothing ever accepts me. Have you not felt our warm embrace? Have you not heard? 
No voices of doubt in your heart are silent before me. We have showered you in our gifts and in our affection. Don't you see? Our love is purity. To accept yourself, you must understand yourself. Understand your blood. To understand your blood, you must know your heritage. I killed my heritage. I don't understand. Child, your brother, he is of your blood. To embrace him is to embrace your salvation. You must embrace him. Are you asking me to kill my brother? My brother knows nothing of me. Child, you ask too many questions. You do not ask you to kill your brother. Such a thing is not possible. Rather, I ask you to embrace him. Hello again. Grace smiles. I've been thinking about what you said about fate. Grace nods. I'm not going to embrace my fate. I'm going to change my fate. You know what? I can't hold back these urges. These urges are just too, too much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to embrace my fate. Grace falls silent. She slowly withdraws from your mind. Let's go so quick to obey. The angel speaks, we obey. We obey because we are destined to. We speak now, yet you're silent in the shrine. We speak, but the angel is loud. I don't have time for this. Silence yourself. I must find my brother. Yes, Hamilton. We must not be late to our destiny. Down, bow, bow, bow. Ah. He's my friend. I can't hurt my friend. I won't let you hurt my friend. I got to go home and speak to brother. Fucking hate brother. Fucking weirdo. Brother. Come brother, let us talk. Walter, I have questions. Walter remains stoic and silent. Let us drop the charade. I know you speak. Why are you angry with me? I've saved you. Do not mistake this mask I wear for a charade. I've always been quite transparent in my needs. You, on the other hand, flippant. Tossing, turning like the raging sea. One moment you're that good little boy. Tell us what you think you are on the year. The next moment you're the devil himself. I don't understand what you're saying. But father abused and tortured you. Yes, he did. 
and it pleased me. Who are you to be judge and jury? Shut the fuck up. I have questions for you. Look, I'm sorry. As you should be. Yes, that's it. Bravo before me, Hamilton. Beg for mercy. Be silent. Take a step towards Walter. Walter chuckles, muffled within the mask. <laughs> Fine. You have questions. I have answers. For a price. What price would that be? I won't make deals with freaks. I'm so glad you guys. I simply want you to hurt me. Beat me till the blood covers my whole body. Till my unconscious and gurgling on the floor. And when I scream and beg for you to stop, then I want you to hit me even harder. Or you can release me from my bonds. No one knows how to hurt me quite as good as I do. And what will it be, little brother? Will you hurt me, or will you release me? I won't untie your arms, but I will remove your mask. No deal. I don't bargain with tw twisted animals like you. Yes, I will hurt you. I will bleed you till you're dry. Walter quivers in excitement. Yes, you like father. There, I say it's perhaps better. You're one disturbed boy, Hamilton. And as tempted as I am to accept, I am just curious what you really be willing to do. And I'm impressed. Remove my mask. Then I will tell you all the secrets your heart desires. Remove Walter's mask. <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> <gasps> Walter! Oh no. You were foolish to remove the mask. Walter will pay for that. We will find him. And learn what will you do, Hamilton? Will you kill Walter too? If it is my destiny, he attacked me first. <laughs> yes, destiny. Let us find him and speak. Father's still dead. Where are you, brother? Mother! Mother! It's good to see you. Well, Hamilton, are you pleased with yourself? You've brought our family to ruin. Why is God so cruel to us? First, my eldest son. What was his name? How dare you? Don't you ever ask me of him again. 
You're not worthy to say his name. I know you were worthless trash the moment I first laid eyes on you. She wanted to take you, give you to your father. I should have let them kill you when I had the chance. I should have never saved you from them. Shut your cunt mouth. Oh, I will. We're done, you and I. I was going to tell you where to find your brother. But you can fucking die for all I care. Oh, I can't kill her. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the shit? No, is he at the creek? Brother, 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 come on, brother. Your mother speaks in riddles. Perhaps you e follow the rain to the place of solace. Church. Brother. There you are, little brother. I've been waiting for you. Walter, what happened to your face? Never run from me again. They're lovely scars, aren't they not? Each one has its own unique story. Did father do this to you? Oh, he contributed. But most of the time, his stories are traced across my body, not my face. In time, I will be remembered as an artist. My face, the canvas. You see this lip? It began with a nibble. The feeling of jagged teeth across smooth skin. But then I began to bite. I'd bite until I felt the warmth of the blood race down over my chin. Drip into my throat. Oh, Hamilton, the taste of it, like molten iron in my throat. I've often thought of it. Stop ignoring me. But then the lips bruised and callous, they hardened Hamilton, and by no longer drew the blood I craved. So I bit until I felt the crunch of the skin give way. You ate your own face? Technically, it was my lip. I ate as far as my lip as my jaw and teeth could reach. With less biting and more tearing by the end. Enough. You've had your fun. You bore me, amateur. Walter chuckles quietly. <laughs> Fair enough, little brother. You listen to me. You were a good boy. 
Now I will do the same for you. Hamilton, what do you want from me? Are you really my brother? Have you ever met an angel before? An angel? This eroded house of worship must have you fevered. No angel would ever speak to someone like me. Do we have any other brothers living? Are you really my brother? What kind of question is that? It's abundantly clear that we share the same blood. I am your brother, Hamilton. Father spoke of an eldest son. Indeed, there was an eldest son. But he was before my time. Mother rarely spoke of him. Father would beat me till I was unconscious if I asked about him. But he eventually grew tired of that and no longer spoke to me. Do you know his name? Do you know what he looked like? Yes, that is all I know. His name is Albert. <sighs> Oh, that was weird. We're done talking, little brother. I'm on the phone now. Calm, Hamilton. Our heart will burst from our chest. The needle puncture brings sweet release. The pain is good. Calm us, Hamilton. Calm us. Find release. Find release. I need to find release. Ah. Grace, what are you doing here? Grace moves through your mind peacefully. Will you walk with me? You feel Grace smile. Grace takes your hand. Da 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 da. Hamilton, who are you? You've lied to me. Never. I've always answered every question you've ever asked of me. Perhaps you've never asked me the right questions. Are you my brother? Now, <laughs> that's a good question. I was, yes. You were, as in past tense? It's impossible. Not when you think about it. It's entirely possible that I used to be your brother. Now, if I said I was still your brother, that would be impossible. Wait, are you? Am I what? Am I dead? Yes, I passed some time ago. Then how can I see you? Then how are you here with me? It's a gift, Hamilton. A gift from God. The angel has brought me to you, Hamilton. I've come to help save you. No, you're just a figment of my imagination. Is it such a hard thing to believe? You who consult with angels, hear voices, see monsters. Is this so hard to believe? I don't know what to believe anymore. If I'm such a mess, why bother saving me? Because you're worth saving, brother. All your doubts and fears, you must embrace who you are, brother. Never let anyone try to change who you are. But what if I want to change? What am I? I've told you, you're my brother, and you're the hand of God. He has a purpose for you, brother. Don't you see it? 
He has a reason for everything. He has so much work for you to do. You're a part of his will. And me? <laughs> he took me home so that I could be with here, be here with you now. Now when you need me the most, take this gift. You will need it in the times ahead. The curved handle glides easily into the palm. Teeth of the blade catch on your finger teasingly. Oh, it's a bone saw. What? Wow. Thanks. Ow! My finger triggered. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh! No, it's Doctor! You're the Grey Man. Why are you here? Do you remember how he died? I took him to the old warehouse. Not far from here. I took the boy there. Keep going. I stripped him naked, tied his hands and feet. Then I gagged him with a dirty piece of rag I found in the dump. Yes? What then? Then I burned the clothes. I took tools, made them myself. The belt was good, short handle. I cut the leather in half, and each half in six strips, about eight inches long. More. The desire to inflict pain. That is all that is a most. Act 5. The Innocent. All right, that's it for now. We will continue this another day.